Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. We're going to take you through a quick introductory, introductory, that's not the word I want, quick introduction of inventory. Words are tough. All right, <laughs> so we've, got, we've got PDQ inventory installed. When you install it and enter your, you know, your credentials for your uh, administrative account, it's going to scan the first computer. I was going to say, just take your defaults, yeah, on the way in, right? It's going to scan the machine that actually installed on it. Yeah, in this case, it's, it's called Guinness. Uh, but we want to obviously... As cool as that is, we need more info. We need yeah? more information. Yes. So. Unless you're the admin of one computer. All right, so uh, we want to probably do AD Sync. If you use Active Directory um, and you're using the, the enterprise mode of um, PDQ Inventory, you want to do this. The nice thing about using Active Directory Sync is anything, it makes Active Directory the master. So anything you add in Active Directory, mm -hmm. that will sync into inventory. Now, again, this is a read-only from Active Directory. We don't write anything or Correct. take anything away. So it's All we're doing one is direction. Down. Yep. So I went to uh, Options, Preferences, in the Preferences, select the Active Directory. And we do want to have, um, the, in the Active Directory Sync, we're going to go ahead and turn that on in a moment. But we're going to first include Container. Now, for the most part, you'll probably want to just include your top level, your top level OU. But if you're just a department, uh, other people in different, you big company, and they don't want you messing with theirs, uh, then you can go down to, you know, just the OU or mm -hmm. security groups that you manage. In this case, we'll just go ahead and take this top level. Does that sound good? Absolutely. Now, the other thing you do, you can exclude a container. So let's go and exclude our DCs. Okay, our domain controllers. Yeah, we don't want to, yeah. So that means do not grab anything. Uh, grab everything in web except for those that are in uh, domain Excellent. controllers. All right, so now we'll go ahead and say auto sync is enabled. And uh, it's by default, I think we're going to do it every hour. Now, the delete mode is also important in this, okay? We've got three different settings there. There's import only, which means it'll import. You'll have to manually delete it. If you're using Active Directory, let's have one place to maintain that data. So you do a full sync, which would delete stuff. And then if you do have a few that are in a work group, mm -hmm. you'd want to do a, a mixed sync, and then you can add those by name. Yeah, mixed, mixed, uh, or, or full. It, once again, if AD is, if Active Directory is, you know, the gospel, uh, that's everything that you need. May as well do full sync. Mix and match is the uh, is the other one. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And now you can see. Did you notice when you hit it, it already started syncing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is now synced up. I love that. And uh, first time it syncs, it's going to start scanning all of those computers. So this is what it sees in the web uh, OU minus the domain controllers because we're not we, we excluded those. So. And again, the great thing once it added them, it started running a sync because it needs some data. Correct. It's and not only the sync, it's now scanning. It synced oh, to the computers. Sync. Thank and you. Yes, that's scanning. what I meant. It's scanned. Now, uh, another great thing we've got is the collection library, and we maintain that here at PDQ for you guys. Um, applications, internet browsers, et cetera, um, yep. Now, when this data finishes scanning, these are actually gonna be populated with information from these computers. So you'll be able to tell if a machine's got an old version of Chrome, mm -hmm. or a machine doesn't have Chrome in this case because we popped up our Chrome. Yeah, uh, it, this, just give, this give this a minute or two to, to completely to completely populate and you should, you should be good. Let's create our own though, what do you wanna do? You know, I wanna know how many machines in the lab here haven't been rebooted in the last seven days. Okay. So we're gonna go to a uh, create a new dynamic collection. Mm -hmm. A static collection is where you specify these computers go in this collection. Mm -hmm. Dynamic is basically this collection is gonna, all the computers, all the members are gonna fit certain criteria. So this is based on uptime one? Yeah, uptime, we'll say anything, uptime greater than seven. D. Seven days. <laughs> I was going to say, I know my lab. They're going to get a lot of machines. I don't reboot ever. <laughs> want to change, change it up? Let's say uh, 50 days. Seriously, let's do 50. 50? All right. That's going to be crazy. Uptime for 50 days. Now, to find this uptime data, again, it's gonna, here's all the tables you can pick from. Mm -hmm. uh, we happen to know right now it's in the computer data. And when, when we pull up a machine, we'll show you how to find that data. But uptime, again, alphabetical. I love that. And uptime, and we're going to, instead of doing... Uh, between, between we're going to do is greater than and we'll say 50 days that's hours my friend that'd be a lot of hours yeah well so 50 days simple and you can have multiple filters absolutely well. absolutely this is just a simple one to show yeah. you how to do this. show me all the computers that have 50 days and have you know uh, windows uh, 10 version 1803 there you go we'll say okay now that again is going to update there we go. Look at that. Whoa. 50, 100. You got some days. Check it out. <laughs> 284 days. I'm trying to set a record. Uh, I think you are. Well, uh, again, 
you know, information is your biggest asset as a sysadmin. So now we know that somebody's been neglecting their job. That's right. But once again, look at the collection library. Mm -hmm. It's a great cheat sheet to be able to determine exactly how to build filters, how to build collections, et cetera. Absolutely. And, and now since we've got this data in here, we can start, go, look at this. If I go to Chrome, how many machines have got Chrome on it? The members gonna, membership's going to update here. We should be seeing, oh, here it comes. It take, when you first install it, when you first grab your computers, it does take a little bit. Mm -hmm. Give it several minutes to update everything. When you select, uh, when you select a collection, it will, it will say, hurry and populate this yep. right now. So, um, yeah, there you go. These are the, all the computers that have Chrome. These are the ones that have the latest version, which is, there you see, the, Guess what? there's the latest version right there. I'm pretty sure I keep on top of my game with Chrome. Yeah? No. Those are all, yeah, so 20, so only one. Uh, there's 20 that have the latest. That means that, that one is going to end up having the, the least. So once it, this delay is only because we just barely added these computers. Yeah. And so, again, uh, this can be your best friend or it can dog you out in front of your friends, apparently. But, no, this is great because now I know I need to go and update, you know, ABBA. In this we case. have a computer named ABBA. Yeah. Despite my best intentions, yes. <laughs> we have a machine Let's named ABBA. Let's go watch ABBA. Mama Mia wrap this thing up. All right, everybody, if you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support site. And uh, welcome to the PDQ family. I'm Shane. I'm Lex, PDQ.com.